What's up, guys? This is Rachel. And this is Christine from BSI Intervey. For today's video, we're gonna talk about information and technology. Without further ado, let's get started. Audio Jungle. Even kids can't imagine that there was a time without computers, cell phones, and other mobile devices. We use it every day and we feel that we can live without it. We communicate with others using cell phones, chat rooms, forums, and email. We use the internet for research, entertainment, communication, work, and school. And in today's modern time, kids don't have to go to the library to find information and to do their homework. They conveniently have constant access to the internet and Likewise, businesses use computers and the internet not only for research purposes but also for gathering and storing information. They no longer have to rely on paperwork, cabinets, and books. However, there was a time when this modern technology didn't exist and society used other forms of what was the latest technology at that time. In fact, information technology has been around for a long time without the evolution of IT throughout the history. It wouldn't be there, it is today, and provide us with the modern technologies that are readily available to us. Oh, sounds informative! So, what is IT today? Okay, well, oh. well information technology is no longer limited to the installation of hardware or software, the resolution, the resolution of computer problems, or a control of plus access to a system, IT specialists are in high demand today. And they also design policies to guarantee the IT system are efficient and aligned with the strategic goals of a businesses, maintain optimal uptime for network and devices, enhance corporate efficiency by automating operations to investigate, implement, and manage new technology to meet changing business requirements and to ensure company continuity and durability, maintain service level, security, and connectivity. In reality, without information technology, today's happier, happier connected digital economy would collapse. In addition, information and communication technology or ICD play a significant role in all aspects of modern society. ICD has changed the way in which we communicate with each other, how we find needed information, work, conduct businesses, interact with government agencies, as well as education, and how we manage our social lives. But we can't deny the fact that ID will bring this negative impact to our society and to every one of us. Of course, Christine, a multitude of research has been made on the topic where social media is listed, listed as the number one place with misinformation, hate speech, and harassment of one hand, and place labeling people isolated and depressed on the other. It might lead us on delays in social and emotional development, physical inactivity, and obesity, poor sleep, quality, social issues, social, social incompatibility, spreading of fake news, and many more. Here you'll find our top tips and conversation starters to encourage your fear to use information technology responsibly. First, have a frank conversation. Technology is ingrained in our culture. Help your child and peer understand that having this tool is a privilege and that they should use it wisely. That involves adhering to the guidelines you establish for its use. Second, encourage them to think about the future. It is an important lesson to learn that online material is forever. How does your child want to be seen in the world? Not just now, but when they are adult looking for a job. Respect is key. Teach everyone not to say or do anything online that could hurt or humiliate anyone. Just as would you do expect them to behave in real life. They should also not to do anything that they know you would be unhappy with, such as forwarding materials that would hurt or embarrass someone else. Teach them to respect people's privacy. If they ever receive material that is private, such as personal or explicit photos or videos, they should delete them immediately. 
failure to do this could have a very real consequences.